Hey guys, praise the Lord. Hope you're doing good. In Luke chapter 11, verse 14 and 15, it says that Jesus cast a demon out of somebody's body. And when he did, the person that was mute, in old English, they used the word dumb, but the word dumb didn't mean unintelligent. The word dumb meant mute. When Jesus cast the devil out of the person, the person that was mute was finally able to speak because they weren't bound by physical impairment, by natural course. They were bound by physical impairment, by possession. Now, when Jesus had cast the demon out of their body, now the devil was loosed from their physical control of the person and their physical impairment in the individual was finally uh, released and they were able to speak because the demon had control and Jesus cast the demon out. Jesus cast the control of their mouth out and they were able to speak. Now it says in verse 14 and 15, Luke chapter 11, verse 14, 15, it says that some people marveled and some people tried to mock and gainsay and say that Jesus did it by Beelzebub, you know, the prince of the devils. He cast out devils by the prince of the devils and Beelzebub was just an old school nickname for Satan. The point I want to make is this is that if if anybody wants to be able to cast devils out of those who are bound by them, they need to have the Holy Ghost and they need to be walking in holiness. Without the Holy Ghost, you can't cast a devil out of somebody because you don't have power. The only power that you have, so to speak, is the sinful nature in your flesh that you can't escape, which is the whole reason why we need the Holy Ghost. So you don't have power, you merely have faith in God and it's not God's design for you to cast devils out with faith alone while still being dead in sin and separated from him. God wants you to be in fellowship with him and be empowered by his spirit in order to, by being filled by it, in order to cast demons out of people because it's authority that only comes by the Holy Ghost. That's why in the Old Testament, you didn't read left and right that the prophets were casting demons out of people. It only came in the New Testament. And Jesus gave his apostles authority because those same men he gave authority to were chosen to start the early church and be filled in Acts chapter two. Nowadays, that the church has begun and we're in the, the the dispensation of the New Testament church. No one here is given animal sacrifices. We're not under the Old Testament. That's not what God has uh, chosen us to be judged by. God wants now for us to be chosen. God, God is choosing us now to be under the New Testament and God requires us to have the Holy Ghost. Now, you have to be obedient to God. One, to get the Holy Ghost, you just simply have to totally repent, turn from sin, turn from self-will, and turn to the truth and to obedience to God and be done with sin and he'll fill you. And he wants you to take on his name in baptism. You can't, you can't, be, you can't get the Holy Ghost and still be filthy in sin. It has to be washed and it can only be washed by being baptized completely underwater in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's what the Bible says. And it's even confirmed in the Old Testament. But a lot of people nowadays think that they are casting demons out when they're not even casting demons out. Now, that is something that takes spiritual discernment that the Bible says only comes by having your senses exercised. Your senses can't be exercised unless you're obedient to God, 100% uh, submit to him. Now, I'm not saying a 100% obedient in the sense like, I, like 
not in the way that uh, you're totally sinless, perfect, like you're Jesus Christ. That's not what I'm talking about. But I'm saying that if you're 100% submit to God and you walk in obedience as God allows and helps you and you'd actually do what you're supposed to be doing to have a real walk with God, you will be walking by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm talking to, to people that have already been born again. You'll be walking by the power of what God has already filled you with. And you will then have the ability to cast demons out. But to be self-willed, to embrace all kinds of false doctrine, to let, uh, let your flesh have control, get mad at people immediately, mad at people, proud, racist, uh, liar, fornicator, the whole nine yards, you're not going to cast the devil out of anybody. And you're not going to have spiritual discernment. And that's where you get people that lay hands on somebody and the demon in the individual that, that is getting hands laid on them begins to act up and acts all funny. And then the person that's confused, that's laying the hands, they think they're casting a demon out and they're not. Now, in order to discern these things, takes obedience to God. Now, when you're obedient to God, you can lay hands on people and as an individual who walks in the real power of the Holy Ghost and doesn't walk under the enslaving power of the flesh but walks in the liberating freedom power of the Holy Ghost you can cast demons out of people and out of atmospheres and that is what I just wanted to say because you can cast devils out, but it takes obedience to God. Nobody that's disobedient to God is really going to cast a demon out. Now, Jesus said, including the sinner that's never been saved and the sinner who's a sinner twice, the backslider that never came back to God, walked, got saved and walked away, never came back, died a sinner and joined the sinners that have never been saved. Jesus said that in this large group, sinners that have never been saved and then backsliders that never came back to God, that they will come to him on the day of judgment and they'll say, well, they won't really come to him. He'll resurrect them. He'll bring them to himself. And he will say, they will say to him, have we not cast out devils in your name? And he'll say, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Now, the sad thing is, the sinners that have never been saved, they never actually cast demons out of anybody. They're, they're saying it to him. Have we not cast out devils in your name? That doesn't mean that they have. That's just what he said they're going to say to him. The backsliders, some of them might have actually cast devils out in their past. But they died, backslid, never came back to God. And they're going to say the same thing to him. Have we not cast out devils in your name? He's going to say, depart from me, ye that work iniquity, because it's not God's will that we're disobedient. So let me end in this. God is not going to give authority to someone who's disobedient to cast out devils in his name. You have to be obedient because he's not going to endorse it. That's probably what people are really going to take away from this video. God isn't going to endorse you if you're disobedient by him letting you cast the demon out by the power of the Holy Ghost and in his name so to speak figuratively saying this God is so to speak endorsing you as as a disciple he's 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 allowing he's working in the prayer and in your decision to do this in his name, he's working by giving you a stamp of approval. Like, okay, I'll do it. I'll, I'll cast the devil out. Because you can't make God do anything. He only does it if he wants to do it. And God is not going to endorse anybody who's disobedient. Anyways, guys, love you. I hope this was something to think about. If you are obedient to God and you do walk in the light and you do put God first and you do walk in the power of the Holy Ghost, which are all possible things, and they're all things you can have if you truly love God. You can cast devils out, and God doesn't put a limit on it. 
You can cast devils out of anybody. As long as it's God's will, you can cast devils out of anybody in any atmosphere. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you guys. Amen. Talk to you soon. Amen. Love you guys.